to another episode of Fishing and Milligan. What's up guys, here we are at the beach today and we're doing the most simple thing you can do. You go into quick stop, you grab this thing called the Whiting Pompano Rig. It's really easy here. It has one weight, two hooks, and a tiny little barrel swivel. You tie it on, put some shrimp. You don't even cast it out too far. We're on super low tide right now. So you can see where the first sandbar is about right there. So you can cast it in between where the guts are or just past the first sandbar and you're gonna catch some fish. Okay guys, so here we have our main line and our barrel swivel. We're gonna take this and we're gonna go straight through the hoop and around the other side. Then we're gonna twist one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna take this main line here and go through that hoop that we just made right there right through the loop okay then you're gonna pinch the tag line pinch the main line all the way down like so and that is the cinch knot you're gonna apply the shrimp cast it out there and catch so the best way i like to put the shrimp on is i actually like to take the shell off um, this helps with the scent take the shell off pinch the tail if you want you can cut it in half if you want to uh, save your shrimp and then you're just gonna need a little piece and you're just gonna thread that on there right through. And try your best to try to hide that hook because when you hide the hook, the fish with the good eyes, believe it or not, this is my good eye. And the clear water out there, they're not gonna see it. They're just gonna see a nice little tidbit of shrimp and they're gonna take that and they're gonna run and hopefully you're gonna catch them. All right, let's cast it. So when you come out here and it's low tide, be able to see these shells so you have a gut and then you have the shell for the sandbar and then another gut and it continues like that so the first gut is right here the second one is past the sandbar here so you can throw it close like this a lot of times those whiting are going to be really close um, in this low tide Got one. Whoa, whoa. Tracy, Tracy, what is it? Ooh, nice little guy. All right, guys, and that's how you catch a whiting, just like that. Shrimp. That part's deep. I know. I was actually gonna tell you maybe we should move to the left. It's very nice and deep over there. Oh, there he goes. Oh well. Took it. There we go. There's one. There's one, guys.
There's one. There's one, guys. There's one. Oh yeah, this feels good, guys. This is tugging nice. Oh. Ooh. This might be a red. <laughs> This might be a red, boys. Woo! Ooh, this might be a big trout. Oh, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, this is a giant trout. Oh my gosh. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Please be good. Please be good. Babe, this is a big trout. Oh my gosh, it's giant. No, come back, come back. Come on, come on, come on. Come back. Come back. Holy cow. No. No. Oh my gosh, one kill. Oh my gosh, that is a giant. That is a huge trout. Oh my gosh, guys. Gosh, he is huge. On the jerk bait in the mystery tackle box. Oh my gosh! This thing is huge. <laughs> that thing is fat. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at my arm. <laughs> Call of 22 guys, and he is fat. Big thank you to Jeremy with this bare bones rod, man. This thing did awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm gonna let this guy go. Oh my gosh! What a trout! He weighed about 22 inches. He weighed, he weighed two and two, 22 he, inches. He measured about 22 inches and he probably weighs, I don't know, five, six pounds and he's heavy. Oh my gosh. All right, let's let him go. Gotta revive him first, make sure you grab his tail. Go back and forth, side to side. Okay, he's switching, so he's ready to go. He's switching, there he is, there he is. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going back out there. Holy cow, what a fish here on this lure from the mystery tackle box. This is a guide secret. I don't know. It's a little jerk bait. Oh my gosh. I am just so stoked at that right there. I was at the second sandbar and I was throwing and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I was praying. <laughs> And I was like, Lord, let's catch one today. And sure enough, not two, three casts later, boom. I hooked up. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Big, fat, healthy trout. And I'm so glad that he swam away. Very revived, nice and healthy. Today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you're new to this channel, Mystery Tackle Box has sponsored my videos for a while now and I really appreciate them. Go check them out at shopcarls.com. Um, you guys save 30% on all the gear. A lot of the stuff I use out here and also in the kayak, fresh water on the boat, comes from Shop Carls. So every month you get a box and it's just stuff, it's just stuff with goodies. So I got the saltwater box and it came with an awesome little pompano rig, really cool dragon tails from Savage Gear, also cool slugs a topwater popper hooks and also this slim twitch minnow comes with cards a thing that you can scan here it lets you know everything that you have and the retail you guys are saving a lot of money if you use the code fish again then you will save ten dollars that's right ten dollars on your first mystery tackle box so join the shop carl's club get the mystery tackle boxes you guys are gonna love it it's like christmas every month back to the video I started off throwing the top water and then I thought, you know what, let me go to something just under the surface. The sun had got a little high. A lot of bait in the area, man. I see a lot of tiny little bait fish swimming around. Woo! That hurt. I don't have to catch another fish today. I will be so happy with that right there. That made the video. Oh my gosh. I thought it was a red, man. I really did. He was pulling hard. 
You guys saw it, man. He was pulling drag. Sure enough, big old trout. Way out here at the beach, second sandbar. Oh. Dang it, man. Dang it, man. 